Hi there, here is Vlad, Community Manager of Vector, and welcome to the tutorial on logo creation. We'd like to show you how to create such simple logos as this Android over here with Vector, so you can replicate it, and I'm sure it will be easy for you to follow along. So the first thing that we'd like to do is to delete everything that is out there and just start from scratch. Let's start from the head of the Android. For that, let's draw an ellipse first of green color as it needs to be. Let's make it a bit smaller, yeah. And align it to the center. Now we need to slice that ellipse in half. In order to do that, we need to use workspace tools. I really hope that you remember how to use workspace tools from our user guide. So let's draw a rectangle. Let's make that rectangle of a different color so that we see the contrast and by how much we're gonna slice the ellipse tool over there. Yeah, it's probably it's probably gonna be somewhere like that. And now choose those two figures and using one of the workspace tools, slice it. Here we go. Now we can align the head of our future Android over there and go on creating the body of it. Using the alignment tools, we can easily align the main body correctly. Here we go, make it a bit longer. Yeah, must be good. Now using the eyedropper tool, let's make the color same as the head of the Android. And just align it a bit better. Here we go. Now let's create the legs. Now to create the legs, we need to use the rounded rectangle to locate it over there. Yeah, we don't need the legs to be symmetrical actually, so let's just make them of that size, let's say. Um, Command C, Command V, let's make those legs. Let's, yeah, just create a copy of it, align it well, and then just group those two layers together. So we can move them in pair and just add them to our Android and so they align well with the body. Here we go. For the hands, we could actually use the same shape. Command C, Command V and we can insert the hands and just align them well. We're almost done. All we have to do is to create the eyes. We can actually make eyes symmetrical. Let's make them a bit bigger. Yeah. Whoop. One. And let's create a second one too. Change the background color of our size to white. And group those layers. Here we go. White eyes and the white background. By here, it's actually on the green background and they look really good. Yeah, one eye is actually not symmetrical to another one, so we can fix that fact quick. And same here. Cool. And now the last thing is to finish the head of the Android. We can also use the round and rectangles for that. Let's just let's change the background. Again, the eyedropper tool. Done. Make them of, yeah, of smaller size than that even. Yeah. Command C, Command V. Let's just place them first. Locate it similarly near the eyes of the Android and then rotate them a bit. So that it looks like a real proper Android. Here we go. Pretty much done. See, it was really easy. 
Vector actually allows you to create those logos really easily using simple tools located in the left and the right sidebars. Please stay tuned with our tutorials. Many more are coming up soon on our YouTube channel, our main web page in the tutorial section, and also Facebook and Twitter. I really hope that you did enjoy it and see you soon.